folks, I'm Antoine Goodwin on the floor at the 2014 LA Auto Show and I'm about to get a look at Google's new in-car app system. That's right, it's Android Auto and we're going to see it behind the wheel of this 2015 Hyundai Sonata. Now we're here in the Sonata and we've got our Android phone plugged up via USB uh, to the Hyundai's infotainment system and the first thing that you'll notice is that the on-screen interface looks a whole lot like Google Now on your Android Lollipop device. You've got some sort of uh, contextual information about commute times and uh, what the current weather is like and also your recent call information. But then getting past that, you get integration with a bunch of different apps. Popping into the phone system right here, you'll see your recent calls. Everything's very simplified and you don't actually really have to touch the screen to gain access to any of these things. You can hit a button here on the steering wheel and sort of give Google those sort of voice controls that you're used to using on your phone. Call Joey. Calling Joey Mobile. And it operates just like it would on your phone, and it kind of looks a lot like it does on your phone. You hit the map button and you pop into an interface that looks a lot like Google Maps, and again, you have those sort of Google voice commands that you can give here. Navigate to the nearest coffee shop. Catch the one you want. And then you're on your way. Now we've seen some of this before at uh, Google I.O. when this system was demonstrated, but one of the things we're seeing right now is our first implementation of third-party apps. Google just sort of released an API that allows third-party app developers to develop for Android Auto and get their apps working in your car. Now currently it only supports audio apps that are going to be things like podcasting or news readers and messaging apps. They kind of want to limit you to things that aren't going to be distracting in the car and that are going to be useful when you're behind the wheel. So the, all of the audio apps are going to kind of look more or less the same. Google Play Music has large album artwork in the back and an orange color scheme. And when you pop into Spotify, it looks pretty much the same except for it's green. The reason behind that is they don't want you fiddling around with a lot of complex controls. They want the play button in the same place every time. So you're not going to spend a lot of time fiddling around with the screen and you'll have more time with your hands on the steering wheel and on the road. Now one of the most distracting things you can do in a car is fiddle around with text messages. So we have something in place here with Android Auto that's going to help you deal with that. Text messages from third party messaging apps and text messages come in as notifications and are read aloud by the system without you having to take your hands off of the wheel. Now I can respond to that text message via voice using the steering wheel controls. Reply. Say your message. I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Here's your message. I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Do you want to send it? Sure. Sending message. Now I've received the message and replied to the message with minimal interaction with the screen. Very cool. Now you'll be able to get your hands on Android Auto in the 2015 Hyundai Sedata sometime in mid-2015. Hyundai's gonna bring it to the market alongside Apple's Apple CarPlay infotainment system for iPhone devices. I've been Antoine Goodwin on the floor at the 2014 LA Auto Show. Be sure to stay tuned to the rest of our coverage of the show.